This video is brought to you by our friends at Solder Stick. They have all sorts of wire termination and wire joining solutions for you. Check out more at the end of the video. Now on to our regular video. Hey, what's happening guys? Today, I've got for you a little blast from the past. This is my ideal Volcon. And you can see here it's made by Ideal Industries. And this is a solenoid style voltage tester. This is a piece of industrial equipment that, man, it's been all over the world. <laughs> so these are great little devices. And if you look up here, you can see it'll show us AC voltage from 120 volts, clear up to 600 volts, DC from 120 to 600. It'll actually show DC as low as 5 volts. It just won't register here on the solenoid. It also has a built-in continuity tester. See that light? That means we are got continuity. So, let me give you an idea of how this thing works. It's pretty cool. So here's our 120 volt line. Here's our ideal Volcon. And you'll notice that these tips are very nice and spring-loaded. So all you got to do is kind of stick them in there. And I don't know if you can hear that, but it is vibrating. You see the red line up there at 120 volts? That's telling us this is 120 volts AC. Our neon is on. And our DC light is on. Let me bring this up to the camera. Maybe you can hear it vibrate. And when you pull it out, it stops. All right, let's have a look at some DC. Oh, wrong way. So there is uh, my power supply. You can see I have it set for 5 volts. So if we connect up the Volcon to the 5 volts, you can see we get our DC plus light telling us there is DC voltage here. And if I take this all the way up pretty high, this is like 30 volts, you can see it's still not registering on the solenoid, but it does register very nicely down here letting us know that dc is a uh, current and available so if you know an electrician or an engineer who's probably you know at least in his late 40s early 50s he probably has one of these in his bag they're fantastic devices heavy duty test leads nice gold plated connectors there you can see it plugs in right there, just like that. Now, as for the batteries, this thing uses... No, I'm just knocking stuff over left and right there, aren't I? There we go. It uses a couple of these little teeny tiny A76. I think they're also called LR44 type batteries. And it uses four of them, two on each side. Just clips in there like that. This pops in here. It'll fit in your pocket. It'll fit in your bag. And yeah, they still sell them today. In fact, this one I have here is the 61-076. And you can still buy one of these for about the same price. I think I paid around $120, $130 for this when I bought this. But uh, they sell for about $100 now. You got probe storage here. They go really nice. And it has a lot more features than just testing voltage. This thing is deceptively simple looking. Let me tell you a little bit more about what it can do. For instance, we've already talked about the, uh, the low voltage DC that it can read. But what it can also do, and we've done the continuity test. 
where you just, you know, you touch these together. Uh oh. Did I not put something back together right? Hang on. No, it's working. I wonder why that continuity wasn't lighting up. Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. I was going to say the batteries are probably about dead. But what you can do in a continuity test, like if you're looking on a circuit that may possibly have AC voltage riding on the DC or DC riding on the AC, depending on which way you look at it, you can do your continuity test and then reverse the leads. And if it uh, still shows up, then you know it is uh, low voltage DC as opposed to continuity. You can also use this to locate blown fuses, which was the main thing that I used to use it for when I was working as an industrial engineer. A um, couple different ways you can do this, you know, if the power's off, you know, you can just go on either side of the fuse. You know, imagine this is a big bus fuse. You can just go on either side of the fuse. If you get continuity, then, you know, it's good. If not, it's bad. Um, if the power is on, there is a way you can do it. Um, you can place the tester across the source side of one fuse and the load side of the adjoining fuse and... You know, if you get a voltage reading there, then the fuse is good. If you don't get a voltage reading, well, then the fuse is probably bad. Another really useful trick with the Voltcon is to find the uh, grounded side of a circuit, if they're not labeled, which they should be. But if they're not, um, what you can do is you can hold, you know, one of your test leads to ground, and then you can go probe your other connections until you find one that shows no voltage that's your ground side um, you can also use it to find uh, leakage current by putting it across the neutral terminal and ground um, the single continuity LED should show up but if both lights show up uh, meaning there's more than five volts AC then you've got leakage current like I said just a really useful tool I've had this, as you can see, for freaking ever. Um, I mean, probably not so much useful around the house. A multimeter is, you know, going to get what you need done. But if you're working uh, as an electrician, uh, process engineer, you know, any, any, any sort of thing where you're dealing with industrial electricity, one of these is uh, really, really handy to have in your bag. You know what else is really handy to have in your bag? Solder stick connectors. Solder stick makes all sorts of connectors. Ring terminals, spade connectors. They're, um, you know, jointed together. Uh, solderless little tubes. But I'm telling you, the mark of a professional is using connectors. You don't want to find uh, wires wrapped around screws. You get a nice kit like this, you get both female and male. You can have nice joints. I will put a link down below where you can get 20% off solder stick. They do make really nice stuff. So check them out down below for all of your wire joining and terminating needs. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoy this. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons, and a big thanks to you guys for watching this. That's it. I'm out. Peace.